Stanley Tucci, Kiernan Shipka, Miranda Otto, and John Corbett star in The Silence. It's a Netflix film, and it is a blatant ripoff of A Quiet Place. The movie opens in the Appalachian Mountains where some researchers or spelunkers or whatever they are, are breaking through a cave. And once they get in there, they open up this huge passageway and release all of these creatures that have just been living there for who knows how long, ever, I guess. Well, and they hunt, but they have no eyes. Drum roll, please. By sound. That's right. They have these ear type things on the back of their skulls. That That's how they hunt. They can just, they have supersonic hearing, no eyes. They look like, I don't know, like an alien with wings. You know, alien from the actual movie Alien, not just some big gray eyed thing. And it's crazy because at certain points throughout the film you see them attacking things and sometimes their blood is red that's coming out and sometimes it's green and I there's no explanation for either. The story itself is really shallow and really thin. I mean we are supposed to care about this family. There is a dad and a mom, a son, and a girl. And she's deaf. Seriously. Th this is how much of a ripoff it is of A Quiet Place. It's it's crazy that they did this. Now this girl is not deaf from birth, but still she's deaf. And so that whole part plays a just a part in the film. And then when it goes to her, kind of like in A Quiet Place, we hear this high pitched like just this screeching type of sound. Now I know in A Quiet Place it was done much better. It was whoo, and just kind of like you were in a, a tunnel but you could feel it and you couldn't hear anything but you could feel the the sound being compressed really weird but really well done in this eh, not so much at all so as the family is trying to escape from their home because they they rationalize that the city is too loud and if the things are drawn to sound then the city's too loud well they'll be safe where it's quiet which in one instance makes a lot of sense, but then you have to live in absolute silence when there's nothing else, when there's no other sounds around you because any sound you make is amplified. So, you know, I, I see why they were thinking that, but the logic doesn't totally play out. They should have just stayed in the city where they were. There's not enough buildup to be fully invested in the characters, and so you just kind of, eh. But then also, there's not enough tension in the film to be thrilling or scary. At one point, the family encounters this group of fanatics. It's kind of like a cult and they want the daughter. But there's no explanation of why they're there, why in the day that this has happened, they have become this cult and they have done the things that they have, are doing, and then why they want the girl. I mean, the whole thing is just kind of thrown in there, and you're like, I, okay, that kind of came out of left field, and then it, it that's, I think, is supposed to provide some of the climax to part of the story, and it didn't. I, I don't know. Maybe it did. I don't know. There's even more parts in there which are blatant ripoffs of A Quiet Place. It was it was tragic at how much the silence stole from A Quiet Place and then just did it poorly. Overall, everything is just kind of blah. I mean, the story, the characters, the action, even the CGI, it's just kind of there. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a very forgettable type of movie. And really what I was hoping for is that once I realized that it was a ripoff of A Quiet Place, that it would just get cheesy. Like they would go over the top, be kind of like a Sharknado of the world, but it's not. It, it doesn't realize that it is remaking or ripping off, really, a movie that just happened a year and a half ago. Even though this is on Netflix and you don't have to pay any extra to see it, I would spend your time watching something other than The Silence. There are so many better options out there, or you could just watch A Quiet Place too. There's no sex or nudity, there is some profanity and a lot of violence. I give Netflix's The Silence one out of five couches. What is the worst thing you have seen on Netflix recently? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.